ChatGPT4 or Copilot Pro? Which one is better? Which one we can use to really benefit? And, and which one is better to really tackle probably most difficult tasks like mathematics or programming? In this video, we're gonna uh, cover what is best and what is not best with Copilot Pro and ChatGPT Plus 4.0 probably the future version as well we're going to include it and we're going to give some thoughts about that. Well, Copilot Pro is made by Microsoft and, and Microsoft really tried to integrate it with every Microsoft app they have, starting with Office package of, of Office 365 and the other uh, Windows itself. And, and the, the other way Copilot is Microsoft and the other way it's the ChatGPT 4.0, which is co it's open I think it's a different thing. However, you can chat still, you can talk with them, uh, you can create and generate images, um, you can do whatever you want with them. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about vice versa. Like now, if Copilot has this feature, well, does ChatGPT 4.0 has this feature too? Which one is better? And we're going to compare two features that they have. And we're going to compare their weaknesses and their pros, of course, their, uh, their super tool they have. Uh, and we're going to tackle down with the starting a desktop application. Copilot has a desktop application since it's Windows thing. So it has the Windows bar and it has the quick lunch bar thing application on it. You can click and it runs everywhere though. However, it also has the smartphone, like you can download it on iOS or Android, but that's a desktop, clean cut. The other way, Copilot does not have currently any application on desktop. You can access it on a web. However, they promised by the end of this fall, you can have your desktop application with Copilot, but much better than much ChatGPT will deliver an application, desktop application, or I could say a platform, much better than Copilot Pro. Here's why, because you can talk with them at the same time, and then they can see you and the, the ChatGPT 4.0 through the desktop application or web. They will be able to see you, and then you can interact with them like a robot or like a human being, and they can give analysis, which will be cooler than Copilot. Copilot by far has no voice conversation too. So like the best desktop app or the smartphone app or mobile app so far is Copilot. But by the end of this fall, ChatGPT 4.0 will deliver much better app than Copilot. So in this way, uh, Copilot does not win, ChatGPT win. Voice conversation or this kind of thing model, uh, Copilot has much better. No, ChatGPT has much better voice conversation. You can interact with them, and they have a human thing voice on it. And with the Copilot, they do not have a chat, but you can start and you can record your voice and send them, send your voice to them. But with the ChatGPT 4.0, you can make a conversation through voice, con voice, voice conversation, which is cool. And it's the very first thing that OpenAI did it, so it was not Copilot Pro. However, we're gonna get to the more um, interaction to the application, which Copilot probably is much better than ChatGPT 4.0. Now with ChatGPT 4.0, you cannot interact with Office 365 or you cannot interact with, you can integrate with add-ons, but not applications like Office, Microsoft Office Word. With Copilot, you can draft emails within the Outlook. You can draft emails within the Microsoft Word or can write a document in, in Microsoft Word. You don't need to go outside. Uh, so it's much better than had to be for all. So Copilot in here is much better and they did much better thing rather than ChatGPT 4.0 because you can interact and you already have inside the application. However, you still cannot use it. 
as a free version. You have to pay for it so to enable it in your Microsoft Office uh, with ChatGPT 4 Oh, at least you have the free version to chat with and you wear it. But of course, Copilot does that too. But Pro, they guaranteed the ChatGPT 4 Oh, which is coming from OpenAI, I guess. So over here, probably Copilot is better. Who is more intelligent? Copilot Pro or ChatGPT 4.0 oh, or the next version they have. I could say Copilot is no better. It's not better than the ChatGPT 4.0 oh, because they are already using their OpenAI, I guess. So probably the more intelligent would be ChatGPT 4.0. Oh. Now with ChatGPT with a lot of features, let me include everything and in to ultimately say this, that Chat GPT 4.0 oh, it, it is is doing much better and is in in any way it's better than Copilot Pro. Uh, you can chat, you can voice conversation, probably in the future you can video call them, and like by the end of this fall you can talk with them. Like they Chat GPT will be able to see your face and you'll be able to interact, which is a cool thing. And it's much faster and it's more intelligent. Copilot is much behind. The only thing that Copilot is not the, the Copilot. The Copilot is much better. Is the Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word, and Office, and the other packages you can interact with them inside, as you can see on screen. So that's why Copilot Pro probably much done, done a better th job than ChatGPT 4.0. Let me include Copilot is better, but however, they are both intelligent and you can use them to get some things done. You can ask them questions, you can find solution, and you can interact with them. And that's all. So I think you would pick up ChatGPT 4.0 rather than uh, the other one. Okay, see you in the next video. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, this could be the best time to give us like and a subscription and then a comment.